Anchor is a renowned brand for power banks and chargers. And last year, we revealed this one, the Anchor Prime 240W scan desktop charger, and it has four ports. We liked it, though the USB PD PPS support isn't the widest, but it's still a great charger nonetheless. And when we saw the new Anchor Prime Charger 250W desktop charger this year, my jaw dropped. Oh, Anchor really outdid themselves this time. It's now smaller, has two more ports, and it has a bunch of new features built in. And these are actually useful features to the point that I think Anchor created a whole new product category for themselves, which I will just call them as the bedside charger. But I'm getting ahead of myself, and yeah, thanks for liking and subscribing. Now let's talk about the unboxing experience first. The unboxing here is rather simple. Once we open up the box, we get the unit from within, and the power cable is located in another compartment. And uh, this power cable is thick, and it also has a huge ferrite core as well. The charger in itself is rather simple in terms of design. The body is grey in colour, and it has this angled piece at the front here. This is actually a screen, and it also has four USB-C ports somewhere around this lower half as well. They are labelled USB-C 1 to C4 from left to right. At the side here, we have two more USB-A ports and there's also a knob. When we power it on, the screen lights up and then we can start charging our devices. The maximum output for each port when used independently is as shown on the screen here. We can then use the knob to select, let's just say USB-C 1, and uh, we can see the total wattage output, the protocol and wattage that it negotiated by the device, the voltage, and also the current. We can do this for all ports, and I think this is the best time to show all of the protocols supported by each of the USB-C ports. I'm skipping the USB-A ports here because they are only outputting a maximum of 22.5 watts maximum, and also I've moved all of my devices to USB-C. The true magic of the Anchor Prime 250W scan charger though is when we start charging multiple devices at once. Let's charge three devices at once. I connected the C1 port to a device that takes in 140W maximum and then C2 and C3 to two different laptops. This is a very typical power distribution and uh, even other chargers that we've reviewed in the past will use this kind of power distribution and we cannot change it. But not for this charger though. When we use the knob, spin it, enter the settings menu, we can change the charging mode. There are four modes to select from, and uh, if we select dual laptop mode, then it will give priority to ports C1 and C2. Most laptops like the MacBook Air will only require up to like around 65 watts or so. Uh, yeah, and if you are a reviewer like me, who deal with multiple laptops on a daily basis, then yes, this dual laptop charging mode will be great. We can also then change it to port priority mode. Uh, this mode is a bit more fancy as we can select up to two ports to have priority. For example, in the case that when we have three devices connected, the USB-C1 port is connected to a device that will accept 140 watts, but since it has to share the wattage between three devices, it will not output 140 watts to USB-C1 port. But when we select the USB-C1 port to become a priority port, then it will then prioritize that port and that port will get the most wattage possible for the fastest charging speed possible. The other two ports will get lower power. And I think this feature is amazing as it's so simple, but it adds so much versatility to how we want to charge our devices. We want to charge three devices at once, but we want the USB-C1 device to charge quickly. Just use the priority mode. By the way, I'm someone who doesn't use fast charging unless I need it. And there is a lot of proof out there that shows fast charging will cause unnecessary heating for your battery. And that will be your lithium ion battery's most prominent enemy. So if you're someone who charges overnight, then you can select the low current mode in the settings menu and this will lower the power to what's as shown on the screen. That's great, especially since many devices that we have here do not have the option to limit the charging speed. 
But that's not all. Now let's talk about the app. Yes, this Anchor Prime 250 watts charger can be connected to an app. This app will display all the ports and wattage in a dashboard and we can make quick adjustments here too. It's basically the same thing that we can do on the charger itself with the knob but it's just faster if we do it on the phone with a larger touchscreen. What's interesting is that we can even make our own custom charging mode. Yes, the four presets on the charger itself, uh, yeah, if those are not enough, you can make your own via the app. We can set our own charger limit for each port and that's just brilliant. Remember at the beginning when I said that this can be a bedside charger? Yes, this display can also become a clock. We can even change the brightness, change the clock, how it should be displayed and also the theme as well. Unfortunately, we still cannot create our own clock theme yet but maybe in a future software update. With all of those features combined, this is why I'm saying that Anchor created a new category for themselves called the bedside charger. You see, you can put this charger on a bedside table, charge all of your devices for the night, go to sleep, and you can also make sure that all of your devices are actually charging because it will show up on the screen. And uh, yeah, when you wake up in the middle of the night, you can even see the time too. Or you can also put this charger on the desk like how I do and then connect all of your devices there. Either way works. I'm just very impressed that all of the features packed into the Anchor Prime 250 watts gun charger is actually useful and these are the types of innovation that I truly support. As for the price, it's actually quite good. It's priced at 170 US dollars or just 699 ringgit Malaysia for us Malaysian folks. But from now until 30th May 2025, you can get this charger at a discounted rate. That's excellent as I think this charger is a great long-term product as it can charge a lot of products and supports super high wattage whenever needed. Bravo to Anchor for releasing such a great product. I'll be replacing my desktop charger with this and if you have any questions regarding this charger then do leave them down in the comment section below. Also, what do you think about this charger? Is it overkill or is it something that you will actually use? Let us know down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.